Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to see how we can clean up the C drive. We will use the disk cleanup tool and also explore the system settings, the storage settings that Windows 11 offers. First, we will have a look at the disk cleanup tool. We need to get to this PC. Now, my favorite way to do that is just by clicking on this folder here where it says File Explorer. Just left click once to open it. And this takes us into Windows Explorer and on the left we can see this PC. And then just left click once on it to open it. Okay guys, so now we can see both hard drives. Today we're interested in the local disk C. To access the disk cleanup, we need to left click once on it to select it. And then just go here on the top where we have this icon with three little dots basically the settings and left click once it says see more and we're interested interested in the cleanup tool left click once on it to open it on older versions of windows basically it was the disk cleanup it still has the same name but now it has a different uh, different interface so to say here guys you can see different categories for files you can click on the cleanup system files and this basically shows you more more options the system files as well on the right we can see the size so basically how much space they they occupy so you know how much space you will uh, you will free up after you delete them now i think you need to be cautious with at least two of them the first one is the temporary internet files this might delete your logins for different pages so if you lost your password for a specific site for example you might might want to be cautious with this and another one guys is the recycle bin now maybe you want to check the recycle bin to see if there's anything you really really need in there if there isn't just keep this option checked and when you're done checking them you can just click on ok left click once it asks you again are you sure yes delete files left click once to do it okay it's minimized for some reason here it shows you it shows you the progress it might take longer if if you haven't done this in a quite a while but this is a fresh windows installation so it shouldn't take so long and it's already done Okay guys, so that's it basically. Now, if we go there again, let's see if anything's changed. And indeed, we can see on the right that we have zero bytes on most of them. The temporary files are still full, for example. But I think that's something that it's in use probably and you can't really clean up. So if you see that, if you see something remaining in the temporary files, usually that's the reason. It's something that can't be deleted because it's being used at the moment by different programs. If you click the option to clean up the system files, you also have another option here where it says more options. So we're going to have a look as well. Left click once to browse that category. And we have programs and features here as well. This will take you to the programs and features settings where you can uninstall programs. We'll have a quick look. So you probably know this page. Here guys you can check the list of programs that you have installed on your computer. You also have the company name. It might help you to figure out what the app is for. It shows you when it's installed on, the size that it occupies. We can see that some programs are really really big and their version if that helps you. You can also sort by the size, by the publisher, etc. or by the date. And guys, it's a good idea to have a look. Maybe you have some programs that you really don't need. In that case, it's really easy just to uninstall them and you will free up some space on your computer and maybe also improve performance. So we're going to close this window now. And another option here is the system restore and shadow copies it tells you more in the details here but basically it's gonna delete older 
system restore points and only keep the most recent one. The other feature Windows 11 offers is in the storage settings. So we're going to close the Windows Explorer, this PC, and go to settings. The quickest way to do that is by right clicking on the start button once and then just go into the settings here and left click once. Alternatively, you can left click once on the start, so just browse it normally and maybe you can find it here in the pinned section or if not you can go to all apps and just scroll through the list and look for settings or just press S on your keyboard and it will appear here or you can type the full name or more letters it's gonna it's gonna appear here in best match we're just gonna open it now and here guys on the left are all the categories for the windows settings and on the right you have the content and today we're interested in storage which is under system so it's the first option and it's open by default when you access the settings app so we're gonna go to storage and left click once now guys this is a more complex tool i won't say complicated it's just more complex the first option is the installed apps it shows you how much space it occupies in this bar here and on the right it also tells you in numbers if we left click on the install apps installed apps it's gonna take us to basically the same list of apps and we can uninstall them by clicking left clicking on the three dots here in the end and you can click on uninstall basically this is the same as the programs and features the next option says other people this tells you how much space other user accounts are using so for example now it says 10.8 gigabytes that's that that's the other user account that we're that we're using on this pc the other category i think is useful it tells you which folders use most space on your drive for example we have the creative cloud files here and we can see it occupies six uh, gigabytes so maybe it's a good idea if you if i wanted to free up some space i would have a look here and see if there are any big files that i can delete to end the video it's a really good idea to try to clean up your disk from time to time if your disk is almost full that will cause your pc to run slowly okay guys that's it Thank you for watching our video, subscribe for future tips.